The level of psychosocial support which is accorded to trauma victims came into sharp focus following the Regis tragedies. During GBN's Beyond the Headline program, panelists and callers expressed concern that the police remained mute since the son's shooting. Some pondered whether a visit from the police in the aftermath of the shooting in late October could have prevented what panned out in the city one week ago. Acting Commissioner of Police Edwin Martin addressed the subject in a statement today. Within hours of the first incident on October 21st, in which Chris Regis sustained a gunshot wound, a team of officers from the Community Relations Department visited the family and had discussions with the victim's father, who is now deceased. I also personally met with the late Trevor and his wife on Sunday, October 25th at the family home dutifully awaiting the outcome of the investigation. During my visit, I was careful not to cast blame or find fault on any side. Instead, I focused on compassion and gave assurance of a thorough investigation into the shooting incident. Commissioner Martin offered words of consolation to all concerned. On behalf of the Royal Grenada Police Force, I publicly express our deepest sympathies to the family of the late Mr. Trevor Regis, who succumbed to injuries following the altercation with police on October 30th. I take this opportunity to wish Chris Regis and the officers who suffered injuries during those incidents a speedy recovery. The commissioner also provided an update on the well-being of the officers who were stabbed during the knife attack. The female officer who was in critical condition following the stabbing incident had to undergo emergency surgery and is still hospitalized. The male officer has since been released from the general hospital but continues to receive medical treatment for stab wounds to his arm and chest. Chris Regis has also been released from the General Hospital and he continues to heal at home following a gunshot wound to his arm. Acting Commissioner Martin reassured the public that a thorough investigation will be conducted. I assure you, fellow citizens of Grenada, Kariku and Pedi Martinique, that both matters are the subject of active investigation. At this point in time, the RGPF is not at liberty to speak on the substantive elements of either incident, as this will be premature and can also potentially prejudice any legal outcomes of the matters. Joseph Cador, GBN News.